Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and watch a little bit more of The Expanse, catch up to my dad. So recap what happened. I don't know that we're gonna even find out who these people are because they blew up and they might be they might be pursuing Jim and them in their little uh, escape thing. Oh, my dog. They might, maybe, maybe they can find out from them, but I'm assuming those people are gonna fall back and not follow them. I, I'm assuming they're gonna wanna try and stay stealthy and incognito because then they have, uh, they, then they'll have the drop on both Earth and Mars, right? So that's my guess, I guess, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I wanna see what is gonna happen though in this next episode. Maybe we'll get, a, I mean, we keep getting a little bit more answers, so. So I'm going to try and ignore my dog. I just fed him for the third time. He eats too much. And his body is not made for that because he's a dachshund. So his back isn't good for extra weight, I guess I should say. Okay, we are on episode five, Back to the Butcher. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start Back to the Butcher, episode five. But before we begin, I want to go ahead and have a shout out for my patrons and remind you guys that you're freaking awesome and thank you for making my day every day. All right, gonna watch this dude with me, Luke? He found his friend, he finally is aware that his friend is in need. I told you, I said keep your head down, keep your eyes open. Mm-hmm. Especially in the Medina. I told you I was going there. Oh, well, she's there. Take care of business. Please tell me this is just to get well present for yourself. <laughs> Please put it on. Oh, my you don't know what you're talking about, Miller. The nice guy. He's been teaching me. <laughs> I'm getting pretty good too. You think all this is gonna help you, man? The next spike's gonna go right through your skull. I yeah, came mm. from a real fountain of police wisdom. Hey, you see any extra holes in me, pal? He was brave for come check on me. You think she cares about you? What's the name of the scumbag that paid you to lure him down in Medina so they could jam up a cop? That's what I was wondering. Oh, is that I what mean, happened? I mean, she had that weird ass look. Hmm. Is this good for him or bad for him? I'm not sure. That look after she he left was not, that she gave wasn't very uh, promising, I would say. Get enough sleep, Princess. <laughs> Come here and help me. Do you know what you're doing? I fix ships, not people. God damn it! <laughs> Just hold him still. Mm. What is she gonna do, man? Oh. <laughs> Good God. I'm coming. I'm coming. Want pets? Is that what you want? I'll give you pets all day long. Is anybody following us? No, sir. Scope's clear. I see they so don't want to. drive and a transponder as soon as we clear the debris field. Or... And uh, right now, we're just a tumbleweed and piece of scrap metal. So as far as we oh. know, nobody made her off the dime. That's why Great. they're not following. And no one knows that we're alive. That's right. That's dangerous. And who just sent us a message? Eleven years ago. Come on, baby. What are you getting comfortable? Is this better? This is Anderson Station. Anderson Station, this is UN One. Are you ready to surrender? Okay. Survivors of the Donninger. My name is Fred Johnson, director of operations at Tycho Station. Mm. I don't know who you are or what your intent may be, but unless you're trying to start a war, you need to contact me. I can help you. He shouldn't have been able to track us, but he did. Yeah. A little fishy, huh? Isn't he some kind of big shot for the OPA? Yeah, what does it matter? He offered us help. Well, I say we fly to the nearest Mars base and turn ourselves in. That's an excellent idea. We'll just roll up in a stolen Mickey Carvette with a dead Martian in the trunk. 
He ended up dying, the guy. Sure they'll roll out the red carpet. Hey, smartass. A lot of good Martians died, saving our lives if we get the truth out. The comms on the Donager were jammed during the attack. The only Martians who believe us are dead. Oh, no. So let's just burn hard to Ceres. We'll take our chances. No Ooh, port that'll yeah. let us dock with our transponder off. And the minute we turn it on, every Martian ship in the system Oh, uh, they are in a pickle. We're the only survivors from the Canterbury and the Donager. We look like terrorists. Yeah, those, and... No one's gonna believe yeah. our story. I wouldn't believe us. Fred Johnson just offered us a lifeline. I is she OPA? Can't. She needs to confess if she really is. We're not going to Tycho. You got any other ideas? You can't trust Fred Johnson. I vote no. Holden's got a point. We gotta go somewhere. Uh-oh. Hey, Amos. It's not good when it's even numbers. I'm with you, boss. Then it's two against two. We're not going anywhere. Remember the can. His name's Filat Kotari. Oh. Look a Griga muscle. Oh. That's my going away present to you. On to bigger and better things. Supposed to come out. Everywhere. Oh, it's like a snuff film almost. You didn't show it at Show me Julie's projected flight path for Scopula. See this. Go 3D. Since when do you drink coffee? I don't have a. Oh, they actually have coffee, coffee. I don't have that little thing that she showed Jim. There. All this shitstorm that we're in, it's all got to do with her. Julie Mao. I think so. She is related. I'm listening. You know that memory crypt that we took out of that stiff? Yeah. All right. Go 3D. It had an unregistered flight path for a ship called the Anubis. Anubis. The Anubis left Phoebe Research Station and it was Phoebe. for Eros. Okay? Hmm. Maybe something's being transported on this ship. I'm thinking Julie's ship was sent out to intercept it. And then suddenly ships start blowing up the Canterbury, the Donager. It's got to be connected. Oh, this guy. Does Shadid know about any of this? I think this is conspiracy. Julia, I told her about the scopuli. I don't give a fuck. I she didn't bite. <laughs> I need more pieces. More evidence. Puzzle. What do you think is on this Anubis? Something worth spilling a lot of blood over. No kidding. Miller. Maybe this is above your pay grade. I don't think I can crack the case. I don't think that's what she's saying. No, I mean, you need to take this yeah. upstairs. God, he's gone this it's far. I don't think it's that he's not capable. So I'll do my pathetic best. Oh, wow, he just took it down a dark road. Not dark, but um, negative, I should say. But he wants, he's saying that he needs more pieces to the puzzle to be able to even move like that. At least with his boss. The path that we've outlined are clear and simple and they it's tell back them that then. we're not giving up control of the station. Yeah, I can't hold you like that. Peacefully. Rama, I need you to listen very carefully. We will not listen yeah. to threats. We've taken this as far as we can. Oh, the hell we have. It's only been a few days. They're not going to attack a bunch of civilians. They're calling us terrorists. Oh, of course they are. I'll take charge if you lose. You have kids. Out. You can't tell us to stop. You don't speak for all of us. We voted together, and we're all in this together. We should have dumped a few more bus mang into space when we had the chance. The station manager was an accident. Is that the kind of people we are now? No. That's the kind of people they made us. Oh, that's not cool. We have to fight back. If we surrender now, it's as good as killing our own children. What the hell was that? They're taking out the generators. Mm. Oh man, they got kids, dude. I don't know about this. I 
That's nifty. What's going on? Oh, I don't know. Ask the ship. It seems to know everything. <laughs> it sure beats the buggers that we've been on in the past. Why not go to Tycho if we got nowhere else to go? It's a long story. <laughs> I always back your play because you always do the right thing. Mm -hmm. But usually I can figure out why. Yeah. Oh. man. Fred Johnson. Why did they date? You know him? I've known guys like him. Guys with causes. Causes that get people killed. Some coffee? Oh my, oh, no coffee beans, it's in there. Where? Tell Fred Johnson to clear us a berth. We're good to go. You talk Naomi into it. No way. Our track record will probably get Tycho blown to smithereens too. Making me hungry. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, what's that symbol? What's that pan thing? You knew him. Gosh, Evil. Uh oh. And uh, whatever the detectives drinking. Dog is out of control, man. You know, the uh, holding cells are full of OPA deaths. Street trash and mm -hmm. radical factions are not OPA, despite what their skin tells you. I'm sorry about your partner, and I assure you. The piece of trash who tried to crucify him is not one of our ranks. What's worse, he's not even remorseful. It's hard to trust anybody on this show, almost. Well, I mean, not anybody, but some people. How do you know <laughs> that? Because as we speak, he's in an OPA safe house. And I guess he's trustworthy. He believes he's under my protection. What do you see? A series for Beltas, run by Beltas. Right now, the OPA controls most of the grids, air, power, water, the very lifeblood of the station. All we've ever known is low G and an atmosphere we can't breathe. Earthers get to walk outside into the light, breathe pure air. Look up at a blue sky and see something that gives them hope. They look past that light, mm. past that blue sky. They see the stars and they think, my Earthers have a home. Mm. This time, Belters had one too. Sing. Didn't think about it like that. And you'll get Fila Kothari's location. He's yours to do whatever you think is right. What do you want? Julie Ma was one of ours. I want to find out what happened to her just as much as you do. Hmm. Is it smart to share information like that with him? we have is the tight beam to their negotiator. So no one outside the station knows this is happening. That's why we need to surrender. Oh God, you got fucking kids there, man. We're surrendering to the Marines. Come on, really? I mean, I get what they're, I get it, but I, I mean, but the kids, dude, you don't bring them into this. You in command, this is Anderson Station. We're issuing our unconditional surrender. Copy? No, it's too late. I repeat, we surrender. UN-1, please respond. Centers on accusations oh, that the Martian government was responsible for the destruction of the Canterbury. A pure and clean contracted water hey, Amos, get over here, Already check this out. Holy shit. Protests demanding justice for lost ship Canterbury and her crew gave way to violent mobs who targeted Martian... Looks like we're not the only ones who remember the can. Retaliation for what some are calling a... What's up? Can. You gonna tell him? Hey. Oh. I just well, took into a from Ganymede and, uh... Hey, when you sent that message to Fred Johnson, you didn't give him, uh, names or anything, did you? No, of course not. Well, partner, 
It's gonna be kind of hard for you to stay anonymous now. I didn't even think about that. Let me know if you want your face to look a little different. A uh, nice lighthearted joke right there. <laughs> uh oh. How is this gonna work out with him? Shedding really bad, my dog is. Oh. Yep, go for the gonads. That works. Julie Mao. You know her. You never asked a girl down at the docks if she was looking for some drilling work? That's the last stupid thing you get to say to me during this interview. She wanted to tour the belt. Figured it for a dirt side of slumming. Flirting with the old PA, sticking it to her old man at the you same time. trying to recruit her. My days of giving a damn were long gone, pal. OPA throws me work from time to time. Happy to wear their tat, take their money. Happy to take mm. Julie Mao's money too, huh? As wrong about her as I was. She not as innocent? Trip, we stopped over at the mines on Callisto. News was that uh, a tunnel collapsed had torn open veins of cadmium and people were dying from the vapors. After two days down at the aid camp, I begged Julie to get out of there, but she said she was okay. She said she felt safe. They lost their parents, folks who choking on the blood in their lungs. Well, I never saw her shed a tear over the fact that she had to take anti-cancer meds for the rest of her life. Oh. Only time I did see her cry was uh, these belters at a rally. I told her, you're one of us now. Wow. Oh. Scapulac. Julie was on it. You were trying to stop her from getting involved in something ugly. I want to know what it was. She was hanging around some oh. hardcore old PA. Like? Anderson Dawes. That's not the guy. Before. I don't know. Oh, I know. Oh, Two that's... weeks before she shipped out, she asked me to hook her up with the data broker. That guy? Where'd he work out of? Come on, he'd, he'd kill me if I told you. I just saw him at the morgue. He's on his way to the recycler. Tech Noir, level 14. You think Julie's dead? The stop her. fuck knows, man. Nobody could stop Julie from doing anything she wanted to do. You should have protected her. Now she sounds tenacious. What do we do? I don't know. You're kind of stuck now. Shit, you had the option before and now you don't. Well, it's just like Clueless. She's just so cute and innocent. Her, her thing. Sorry, babe. No, if, if we have a voice, I should be able to relay the station's camera footage and broadcast out. Four days ago, the miners working for the Anderson Hyosung Corporation took control of the station in an effort to protest the treatment of our children. She and the other children have been diagnosed with what the medics are calling hypoxic brain injury. It's due to the low oxygen working environments. She got it when she came to live here with me. The, the company is refusing us medical assistance and they're denying that their problem even exists. We're not a violent people. We didn't intend for anyone to be hurt during our protests. And for that, I am sorry. We just wanted to be hurt for the sake of our children. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Oh, that's fucking tragic, dude. Oh, is that them? God. Still holding her? Fucking god dang, dude. That is terrible. Anderson Station is secure. All terrorists have been subdued. Oh, he's the butcher. Ooh. You have my solemn promise that you will not be harmed, and you will be granted safe harbor on Tycho. Since you've chosen to remain anonymous, I can only hope you have no hostile intent. Regardless, you will need to change your transponder code in order to avoid detection. Ooh, that makes me nervous now that I know that. You need to give the ship a new name to complete the override. 
Rosinante. Huh? It's Spanish for workhorse. I like it. I knew a lady named Rosinante. She was good to me. Whatever. Punch it. Okay. <laughs> and I gotta give this dog a bath. He smells like dog. Ooh, yeah. It's bath time. <laughs> Wow, is that that's like the third time I've seen him smile. <laughs> uh is that just gonna hold it, I'm assuming? Is he gonna get that back? Looking for a Sherpa. Oh. Sherpa. Oh, like, yeah, for real, I'm looking for a Sherpa. <laughs> so old guy comes in, says he wants a Sherpa. Come back here, tell this dude he's got a customer, is that right? Yeah, he can work back here. That's all I know. That's all I know, my butt. There's the hamster. One of, oh, she had one. He made her a hamster? What do these hamsters do? Okay, that's it. Bye bye. Everybody's just doing a little bit of snooping. And put on his beats. I like to listen to music and drive to my podcast. Oh, he found the coffee. Hope he has time to actually enjoy it. I'm not gonna like the taste, but the smell is great. I mean, he didn't like the taste of the other thing, right? Got the alcohol. Hmm. I like how they're paralleling these two and he likes it. Maybe he ended up acquiring a taste after, um, Oh shit. I forget her name. Does not look, uh, looks really deep in her thoughts. Like something is really seriously troubling her. Perhaps it's, uh, see? Perhaps it's the guy, the butcher in there. Huh. Oh, look at that. That's why he keeps a fedora. <laughs> Good for holding stuff. He just hodls everything in his hat. Who knows what's in there? Oh! Um, I take that back now. Not a good place to keep things. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God! Getting some answers. So, I mean, there's a rift, obviously, now. Are they going to be able to patch up the relationship? Detective Miller and his friend, his his partner? I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about their relationship, honestly, him and that girl, because she did give that weird look after he left. I mean, he doesn't know that, but he's he is. He's just like a little naive plant giver, you know, just like just doing doing some good over here. <laughs> Giving plants away, being nice. Uh, and all innocent, but I don't know that there's room for that. I don't know that there's room for that in the show. Uh, now they're going to go to this place, Tycho, with a guy who has questionable intent. I don't know how this is going to work out for them. You know, I don't know how this is going to work out for a lot of people. I mean, there's a lot of, um, who's that guy? Was his name Anderson Dawes, the big OPA guy? So he got involved with Julie, right? I mean, I don't trust him, but he seems to be of value, at least to the detective. But the detective's like, he's been around the block. So I think he's able to kind of navigate that a little bit better. Julie, I think I mean, she can handle herself, but maybe she was a little bit manipulated and, and, and got in uh, deep water. 
and wasn't able to, to dig her to swim her way out. I'm not sure. I mean, she seems like she sounds like from that story from that guy that she had a big she has a big heart uh, to an extent. I don't know. We don't know anything about her and her character and, and, and how she would make decisions, I guess. And I don't know that I trust this fucking Anderson guy. He wants information regarding Julie, regarding her disappearance. But is it, I'm wondering, is it has something to do? Is it something, is there something more sinister regarding that? Does he want to know what she knew or does she, does he, what does he want to know about her? Because Detective Miller, right, is trying to in intercept. He's trying to figure out where she is or what's happened to her, right? And she was on the scopula that was supposed to intercept the Anubis. So if that's the case, then I'm assuming did Anderson uh, put her up to that? Or does he want to figure out what information she knew or did she find out any information or does he want to find Does I, I don't know. I don't know what he, he what that is, the information that he wants regarding that. But it scares me, <laughs> scares me a little bit. They're saying that they're terrorists, but he's saying that they just want to have a place that they call home, basically, and are probably treated fairly. So, I mean, that's that's, you know, sound. It's the sound desire. Uh, it's a little bit scary to me. I don't really quite, I mean, are they ruthless? I don't know. I just don't, I'm not a really big fan of uh, achieving change through violence. <laughs> not really my thing, but I get, I get that in history or historically it has their purposes and, and it has gotten places. And so I don't know. I feel like the show is painting them as a bad guy, the OPA, but it's hard to not I mean, I understand where they're coming from, and are they really bad guys? Like, I don't really know what to think here. Probably the means of them doing things is probably not good, hmm? you know? Probably easy to say that, I would say. So maybe they are in that regard. If you live in terrible conditions, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? I don't know. <laughs> Just gonna shake my head. Just gonna shake it. Yeah. Oh, and that makes sense also because Anubis, I have some notes here. I'm taking notes on all my shows now. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the Anubis went to the Phoebe research station, which is where Mars, they were asking about, who is it? Oh, uh, the people in the Tide Pod. Oh my God, Jim and uh, Naomi, all of them, right? So they're asking who went to Phoebe, who is the OPA agent. Are they mistaking? Naomi for Julie? No, Anubis went to Phoebe re research station and Julie was supposed to intercept that. Okay. So, but they were insinuating, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but that's like tied up and I'm assuming that's all tied together and that, that, that. There's like a, a sort of Bermuda Triangle over there in space where they just can't, you know, you go over there, you're too close right now because something's going on in that area. And if you are just going to be in bad juju zone. Yeah, I mean, Mars, it sounds like Mars has a little bit of some feelers out and are, are they kind of figure like something's going on a little little stink in suburbia, but they don't quite have their finger on it and they're trying to figure it out, obviously. Uh, and I, we're all trying to figure it out trying to figure it out. You guys probably know what the hell's going on, but I'm trying to figure it out. So yeah, so maybe they didn't, maybe it wasn't a case of um, a mistaken identity. I'm not sure, but ours knew it seems like maybe a little bit about what's going on regarding that. And Earth was just in their own world, looking at the blue sky and claiming the stars. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and keep watching. Keep on, keep it on. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.